Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Truth Be Told. We're here again. If you're looking at this video, then God has given us another day, another opportunity to praise his holy name, to get it right, to get into alignment with him and start to live our best life. Every single day is the beginning. It could be the beginning of the best day of your life. It could be the catalyst that will lead you into a relationship with God that will change your life. Let's change our stinking thinking today in the glorious name of Jesus. Father God, I pray that the words coming out of my mouth are accepting to you. I pray that you speak through me, Father God, that you uncover our eyes and our ears so that we may hear your word and that your word may fall on fertile ground, Father, and that it may bear much fruit for your kingdom, Lord, in the mighty, glorious name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to talk to you about hard things. Yes. Equipped for hard things. In Deuteronomy 30.11, it says, for this commandment, which I command you this day, is not too difficult for you, nor is it far off. This is too hard, is one of the excuses we hear most frequently. But we are equipped by God's Spirit to handle hard things. We are anointed to press through and see victory. Now, I was the queen, me personally, I was the queen of excuses back in the day. Because I deflected I didn't hold myself accountable, and I blamed everybody else for my situation in life. And I came to realize that, yes, the people that are around us, everything affects us. But the truth of the matter is that at the end of the day, we have the choice to hold ourselves accountable and to believe or not believe what God says. Now, I've learned that when I don't believe what God says, I was believing what the enemy said, which said, I'm not smart enough. I was too old. I could never change my life, that I was ugly, that I was damaged goods. I could go on. And I believed all those things. Therefore, my life was a product of those beliefs. Fast forward, when I got snatched from the devil's hands and God started to tell me who I was and I started to believe him. Oh, baby, it's a different story now. You see, it's not about being conceited. It's about knowing who I am. My identity in Christ is now... <laughs> my identity in Christ. Now, if you ask me who I am today, I'd like to introduce myself. I am a kingdom-minded, spirit-filled, sword-wielding, devil-stomping, eternity-bound, blood-covered woman of the Most High God. That's who I am. That's who I identify with. And I don't know who you think you are, but if you just listen to what God says who you are, It'll change your life. I make every decision based on who God says I am, which changes my attitude, which changes the way I speak, which changes everything in my life. So if you're having a difficult time navigating your life and, and with anxiety, with depression, with all things that don't belong in your life, well, honey, let me introduce you to who God says you are. He says you're a masterpiece. He says you're fearfully, wonderfully made. He says you can do all things through Christ. Now, God will not tell you to do something that you cannot do, but you see, we're trying to do it on our own, and we can't because he says he's the vine, and we are the branches. Apart from me, you can do nothing. So, I suggest you attach yourself to the vine of all creation, of all source of life and power and joy, and start to live your best life. Don't you deserve to live a life that God died for you to have. Man, we are taking the gift of his sacrifice and not applying it in our lives. I pray you apply the gift of life in your life today and start to walk in your purpose, honey. And next time I talk to you, let me know who you are, who God says you are. Woo! That's a different story from what the devil tells you, right? Because you're thinking, I can't do this. He's a liar. He's the father of lies. Start to walk in your truth today. In the glorious, mighty name of Jesus. Honey, I am on Victory Place and Hallelujah Parkway. Where you at? Hallelujah.